Hi, my name is Dave Lee. I'm on the design team for Haxman Guitars. And I'd like to talk to you about a couple of things that we're showing here at the NAMM show. Uh, one of the most famous guitars that Haxman has ever produced is actually the Swede. Let me tell you a little bit about that. The Haxman Swede is actually a, uh, a mahogany uh, body guitar. So it's a mahogany back with a mahogany cap. All solid mahogany neck and it has a 3 and 3 pickup configuration. It uses the uh, resonator wood fingerboard with the Swede uh, block inlays, pearl inlays. Uh, this also has the H expander truss rod which goes from the zero position at the nut all the way to the end of the fingerboard. This guitar has a two humbucker pickup configuration with uh, a volume for each humbucker and a tone for each humbucker. You have a three position toggle switch for the pickup selection and then you actually have uh, three uh, tone filters uh, built in on the lower bout and this allows you to get uh, a tremendous uh, variance in sound and tone. Also uh, unique to, uh, to the Hacks from Swede and Super Swede is we're using the Hacks from Bridge which are uh, six individual brass blocks that are actually screwed into the body of the guitar uh, allowing for the maximum amount of string vibration transfer from the string itself into the body of the guitar. This gives you a tremendous amount of sustain and a tremendous amount of tone. Some of the other uh, colors that are available in, uh, in this model, in the standard model, are actually uh, we have white with black binding. We have a, a beautiful uh, gold, metallic gold top again with the mahogany colored back and it's available um, in several other colors which I don't have on display here but we do have an upgrade path for the suite and that is the select suite on the select suite what we've done again it's all mahogany back with a mahogany cap however we've added a flame maple veneer to the top so cosmetically uh, it looks totally different we also have flame maple binding on the body and on the neck of the guitar and we're using the select uh, position markers which is uh, abalone shell and pearl shell inlays. Uh, the, also the controls are slightly different on the select models where we have uh, one three position toggle switch. We have uh, uh, a tone for the neck, a tone for the bridge and again, uh, I'm sorry, volume for the, for the neck, volume for the bridge, tone for the neck, tone for the bridge. Very simple operation, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. Uh, some of the other colors that we're offering in this is, um, this is a, uh, what we call a mahogany tone top. We have what we call a coca top. And if I could drag you over to this side of the rack here. This is a bathos blue. And then what I'd like to do is talk to you about another type of suite, actually, which is we call the Ultra Suite. This is a little bit of a smaller, basically about 5% smaller body. Um, these are bound with a five-ply binding with a perloid binding on the neck and body. Um, this line also uh, is uh, in the Ultralux series. So you can see that it has the Ultralux position markers, again, uh, uh, pearl with uh, abalone uh, set inlays. This has a, a maple uh, neck and it has the ultra thin uh, maple neck. It's approximately 18.5 um, millimeters at the first fret and 19 millimeters at the 12th fret. It has a very, very thin profile, very, very fast neck. And this is what made Hackstrom so famous back in the 60s and 70s. Um, this particular model is, uh, has a, uh, it's, it's called Crimson Flame. It has a quilted maple top. Uh, we push a little bit of black into it with a transparent red finish. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a two humbucker pickup configuration with a master volume, master tone. We have a mini toggle for coil tap allowing you to use it in uh, single coil mode and of course a pickup selector switch to allow you to make those selections. The nice thing about this line is uh, from the breadth of the visual looks of the line, it's quite extensive. We offer this in a, in a natural top with a uh, flame maple, cosmic black again with a flame maple. 
something that I find to be particularly stunning is uh, some of this um, spalted maple. So we offer it in spalted maple tops. This wood sometimes can be very difficult to get, so availability is relatively limited. And again, we have a, uh, a crimson flame color. Now this is uh, crimson flame over a flame maple top, as opposed to the first one that I just showed you, which is actually uh, over a quilted top. We have a amber sunburst. Very beautiful. And then one of, actually, probably my favorite finish is the golden eagle burst. I just think that looks so classic and so classy. And then the last color that we have here on display is our bathos blue. This is a bathos blue over a maple flame top guitar. And then if I could uh, drag you to the other side of the booth, actually I'd like to show you our F-Series uh, guitars. Follow me. Still with me? Okay. I know it's far. Okay, here we are. Okay, the F-Series is basically um, one of the very first series. Uh, this, I believe, was the second guitar that Hackstrom came out with after the uh, deluxe models. Uh, these incorporate uh, basswood bodies, uh, Canadian maple necks, and this is uh, uh, an F2, basically, which uses uh, two humbucking pickups, one master volume, one master tone, and we're using the full contact uh, FCS1 bridge here. Now the unique thing about this bridge is it um, doesn't have any gaps or spaces uh, anywhere on the bridge. Again, allowing for maximum string transfer or string vibration transfer from the bridge itself entering into the body at one focal point on this, on this bar here, giving you maximum amount of sustain and the maximum amount of tone that you could possibly get out of this instrument. Um, there are several uh, variations of the F-Series. We have the 301, which uses, again, it's a, if I could just show you, it's a Canadian maple neck. Beautiful neck. Basswood body. This has one humbucker and uh, two single coils. Five position selector switch. You have a master volume control and two tone controls basically for the uh, middle position and also uh, a tone control for your humbucking pickup again using the FCS1 bridge. Another variation of this guitar is the F300. The F300 using a perloid pickguard in black which I find very pretty uh, using three single coil pickups again using the FCS bridge and one thing that I should mention I think I forgot earlier on is again these guitars also have the H expander truss rod um, which expands from basically it, it extends from the zero position of the nut all the way to the end of the fingerboard making the neck very very stable very very strong resists any twisting and uh, gives you the maximum amount of sustain no dead spots because we're using the resonator fingerboard and we're using a perloid uh, six millimeter position marker. Another um, pickup configuration that we offer here is um, in the F200P. Uh, now the unique thing about this is it's actually as opposed to the other guitars that I showed you this is a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length using a P90 style um, pickup. You have a three position uh, selector switch uh, master volume, master tone, and again you have the FCS1 uh, full contact bridge. Um, and then the last uh, model in the F series is our F200. This is a set neck guitar. I'll pull this off so that you can see it. Uh, my arms aren't long enough. Uh. Yeah, there we go. So you can see that this is a full set neck guitar. Uh, two humbucking pickups, master volume, master tone, three position selector switch. We're using the long travel bridge. And again, we're using the Hagstrom uh, stop tailpiece, incorporating six individual brass saddles 
uh, one for each string uh, screwed directly into the body of the guitar. And again, this allows you the maximum amount of string vibration transfer from the strings into the guitar and the maximum amount of tone. There we go. Nice and safe. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And uh, if you have any other uh, questions that I haven't addressed, please go to www.hackstromguitars.com. And uh, you have a great day. Thanks so much for spending the time with me.